there is a lot to discuss and listen to in this episode. If you weren't watching, yesterday was the first video day, or rather, the sole video. Since I only released one today, we actually talked about Solana, its direction, and our end of year and summer targets. We also discussed the potential approval of the Exchange Traded Fund, ETF, as well as what we saw approved. There was an Ethereum ETF yesterday, what are the current whispers and rumors? Since those aren't going to happen, it simply won't be Bitcoin or Ethereum as we had originally anticipated, instead, there will be alternative ETFs like XRP. Will we see Asarana next? Rumors have surfaced that she is flirting. We will investigate all of the information we have available. We are going to discuss Brad Garling's tweet because, let's face it, either this man is trolling us or he is trying to warn us of what's about to happen. Therefore, let's move forward without further delay. Get a nice drink, kick back, and unwind. Come with me into a Bitcoin. Right now, $68,900 is declining. Ethereum is currently trading at $379, down 2% from the previous day. It had been 1.99% the previous day. Both USDT and USDC finished at 99 cents. Given that XRP has a mean lean of 53 cents, it is right, up around half a percent, possibly even close to a cent. I'm glad to see it worked. Before you know it, the balance will reach 60 cents. After that, we'll divide it down to 75 cents and head to the races at $167. It's slightly lower, but take a look back at the previous 90-day range of 63%. Do you understand that the moon is the intended destination? It has the potential to multiply between 10 and 12 times. As steadfast as ever. Although there isn't much information to go around, these markets are ready to heat up, so we're going to time our locations and let you know what to expect. What have we learned about the escape process? Every one of them pays $25 per month. There ought to be one of you in that bunch. You will begin to notice that, though. Other cryptocurrencies exist. In addition to XRP, other safe bet cryptocurrencies have the potential to increase our wealth by 10, 15, and 20 times, allowing us to earn money that can significantly transform our lives. I just use $25 each month, and I don't bombard you with data. I don't post information that you don't understand or have no interest in. You are not responsible for breaking it. In fact, you do not require a large bankroll as you are unaware of the situation. Cash weighs you down, doesn't it? I split it into percentages. I say, I put out five cryptos. Hey, did you have 10% here and 50% there? And then you simply looked at your finances and figures, taking those percentages and putting them in as it doesn't really matter where the prices are at the moment, is it? Bitcoin may appear to be worth $67,000, but it doesn't matter if we can make five times as much money with it. Where is the entrance, and ultimately, what matters most? The amount of money you will receive is what matters, therefore, on a $1,000 investment, we can profit by $5,000 or five times, or 500%. 1,000 becomes 5,000, then 10,000 becomes 50,000, 100K becomes 500K, no reason to be upset. The individuals we encounter here need an off-ramp. We will continue to see products like Visa, as do five plans to launch a Visa card specifically for cryptocurrency. Behind the scenes, MasterCard and American Express are also intricately involved with cryptocurrency. That being said, there are no secrets. MasterCard owns Earthport, and Visa has integrated the XRP ledger. They engaged in a bidding war with MasterCard for Earthport, linking it to several on and off ramps that connect to Ripple and the XRP ledger, enabling unique entry into Ethereum. Since there isn't a single cryptocurrency that will govern everything, using an Ethereum wallet and a cash Visa card from EANF to purchase liquid meals may be helpful. Crypto natives use their decentralized financial resources to purchase startup EFI and Liquid Restake's most recent offerings, potentially helping paper rich cryptocurrency companies convert their blockchain investments into profitable ventures. 
Users will use a mobile wallet and Visa credit card, which borrows USD from the popular USD Pay stable coin against their decentralized finance to spend funds such as $5 cash. Direct payment for investments is possible through cryptocurrency. People, I adore seeing that. This is what is the term adoption. Web 2, Web 3, there will be a hybrid. Given that many individuals only understand Web 2 or are unfamiliar with Web 3, it is necessary to integrate the basics of Web 2 and Web 3 in a similar manner. Even though they use it daily, they don't understand the confusion between Web 3 and cryptocurrency. Despite SDC and ETF registrations, American cryptocurrency continues to decline. Indeed, we have already witnessed the rise and fall of Ethereum, right? Because someone had heard the news before us, we were able to witness it. Now that we were aware of it, what did we see? Everyone believed that the acquisition of the ETF would propel it to unprecedented heights. You already know that it has. It reached a small peak, but it has already started to decline again. How do we proceed? From here, what do we get? We will still likely receive between $8 and $10,000. If you manage to obtain a 3x, you can potentially reach a total of 20,000 from this point forward. What are you aiming for? I'm not sure. What a great deal, that's 767 times on it. Making good money is really possible. Don't make any mistakes with these cryptos. Don't fall for it, a substantial profit awaits you. Like I said, I'm 16 now. Perhaps increase that to 22. Because I have made significant investments in numerous other cryptocurrencies, I haven't done so yet. We'll have to wait and see. Justin, I want you to note this. A basic bank chart according to Solana, XRP ETFs may debut in 2025. Do you expect any more ETFs to be released this year? Not in my opinion. I'm sharing this information with you for the following reasons. Why do I believe summer vacation is not approaching? Since summer vacation is approaching, we won't be able to complete or approve anything quickly. The government, like the children, is on summer vacation, so they will be absent. They won't sign many documents, but they won't make any significant decisions for the next three months. It's time to get back into the swing of things. With Thanksgiving and Christmas fast approaching and the new year already here, what are my thoughts? I'm beginning to believe that, despite the rumblings and discussions about these ETFs in Q4 of this year, we won't actually see their approval until 2025. This fits in perfectly with the parabolic blow-off tops we are talking about, which many people believe are coming this year but aren't. Will the cryptocurrency market see any movement this year? Completely. We're not going to remain motionless. We expect Bitcoin to surpass 100,000 this year. However, 2025 is the year of Bitcoin. This is all visible during the alts year. The institutional money is starting to shift towards the XRP Solana Ethereal H bar. I must sneeze. That isn't a coin, sorry. We expect the current rotation in 2025 to be a fantastic year for cryptocurrencies, including Casper XLM, among others. Everything makes sense, isn't that right? What actions do we take consistently? It's worth noting that numerous individuals have made efforts to speed up the process in the cryptocurrency space. Let's examine this together. 2017-2018 began with a bull run. 2018, how many years is that? 2020, 2021, 2022, and so on. You may also argue that the bull run actually happened in 2017. The market didn't decline in 2018, instead, it experienced a single month of blow-off peaks, indicating that it was a fixed market. It occurred in February, or possibly early January, so we could argue that 2017 was the end of the market's decline, and 2018 to 2020, 2020 and 2021 would be the next bull run, correct? Let's now examine the situation more closely. Year 3 encompasses the years 2021, 2022, 2023, and 2024, during which we are starting to observe the markets are rising, so when will the bull run stop? 
2025 is six months away, so it will likely last the whole duration. This comes after the SEC approved Ethereum listed ETFs. We are exploring the introduction of ETFs for Salons and XRP, which are British Standard Charters. This cannot be made up. You can't make this up, Mikhail, an XRP ETF won't exist, and Ripple IPOs for markets other than the US won't be appealing in 2025. Exact location of 100% true love observed that an ETF necessitates a specific degree of decentralization. There must be a limited number of nodes, a single client, and an escrow system. ML requests a demonstration of the areas where I can save time. Appropriate decentralization isn't present in centralized products, as the Ether and BTC ETFs indicated. Kudos to MCKL, he's right on target. Right now, Brad Garlinghouse is releasing this. I've been holding onto this one for a long time, for whatever reason. I don't know, guy. Maybe he's even playing around with us. He is, I believe, one of my favorite members of the XRP community. I've displayed it on one of my walls. However, the market's current momentum is driving its spread. To be honest, I'm not sure if I have truly noticed any momentum at all. After all, XRP has dropped 2% over the last 90 days. Brad? What is happening? Have you forgotten about us? This is all well and good, sir, but you seem to have overlooked us. You may be leaving now, but eventually, XRP will power the entire planet, and I doubt I'll oppose that. Brad is manipulating everyone's emotions, but an institutional exchange-traded fund is on the horizon. There will be money. There is a lot of money going into crypto.